Hello guys, welcome back to a new M Weekly. I am back with silver hair. I just used L'Oreal Professional um, purple shampoo. I'm so happy I do need to start my hair there. Okay, so it's a new week. Why am I out of breath? Um, I'm gonna put some contact lenses in in a minute. I'm wearing a lipstick which is by Nails Inc. actually. I'm gonna put some clothes on probably just leggings and a jumper and then basically this week came back home to Yorkshire like my family home to sort some stuff organize my life I'm gonna do like a proper sit down video explaining my move and the house I bought and all of that stuff really soon when we have a solution because I want things to be really positive so hold on for that so I thought it would be really nice to just do an at home video this week so I'm gonna start the video by giving you a little room tour because I should be doing moving moving vlogs by now and I'm not and that was what was planned so you can see my bedroom at home so let's go so it took me hours this weekend to tidy my bedroom yes my bed is not made because i just got out of it but i'm so happy to be home in a tidy bedroom these are my new underwear from hanky panky i have never seen a print so nice literally how beautiful is that I'm very much in a Valentine's theme. I haven't actually put this on a pillow yet because I don't think it goes with the theme of my bed. Kind of, I don't know. It was Courtney Kardashian that told me about getting one of these. They're like silk pillowcases and they are meant to be amazing for like keeping your blow dry and apparently anti-aging and anti-crease on your skin. I don't know, but they're just beautiful and they feel so nice. This is my little table and I have had so many questions about this table. It's still available and I think it's in the sale, so I will link in. Flower bomb for anyone that knows, I've been buying flower bomb for years. This is a flower bomb candle, yep. A flower bomb candle. But it's too nice to light. All of my mini Joes, I got these in the advent calendar, they're perfect for traveling. Molten brown candle, this smells so good. Not lit it, but you can smell it when you like smell it to your nose. This rhubarb and rose prints i have a discount code if you guys want to buy some of these really soon dun, dun, dun. then got like this little section these are some pictures of me how vain and um, now i'm gonna i'm gonna put them somewhere <laughs> when i went to the baftas of lancome i have no idea how i managed it but yeah i got invited i have quite a few messages asking me why i took a casual bag but I actually took a Gucci bag with me. It was just a bit of a bigger Gucci bag because I needed to fit my shoes in it and also I was staying out that night so I had quite a lot of stuff in it. But I don't actually think this is deemed as a casual bag. I don't think this is casual. I actually love this Gucci bag. Um, yeah, I don't really get why people picked up on that. Weird. I love keeping boxes. Does anyone else do that? Louis Vuitton box that my Louis Vuitton necklace came in, my Dior earrings, which have actually broken. Love Dior boxes. This smells amazing. I've been buying Guerlain for years and it's such a special brand to me. Replica. And then my M candle, which actually was a present from L'Oreal, but it's a dipped heat candle. Flower bar. And then we have these all over my room. Sunshine always follows the rain. This is so true. Just like a little section with my Elizabeth and James perfumes. These are the most special, amazing smelling perfumes. They now stock them at Debenhams. I get quite a lot of questions about them because in the US it's Sephora, but now it's Debenhams. And this is just a candle from my trip to Grenada. It's a massage candle. The garden. which is broken but it's cute so you walk through here and you have my bathroom which is a total mess and you can hear the builders outside but I did an Instagram live the other day and I wanted to talk you through my bathroom and I couldn't because I lose signal so I thought whilst I'm at home today would be quite a cool way to do that um, these are like my favorite kind of everyday perfumes. You've got my Burberry, you've got Armani C, which is like my date night scent. You've got Miss Dior and you've got a Guerlain. I've then got my mini, kind of not as mini as the little ones on the desk, but 
bigger. Jo Malone fragrances, again, great for travel. Yes, I have a problem. I'm obsessed with Jo Malone. So I collect them and they are beautiful. Diptyque candles. Um, I know it looks like I have a lot of stuff, but I do regular clear outs. Like yesterday, I gave eight bags of things to charity, which feels good. I got a message today to say it's all gone down well, which is epic. More Jo Malone, I've got the bath things. I got this the other day, which is a new Jo Malone lip scrub. I'm very excited. These are just here to remind me to test them. This is Huda Beauty, and apparently this foundation and this base is amazing. Oh my goodness, it is snowing. Ignore this, we're just getting loads of work done at the moment. Um, and then these are just the products that I'm actually currently using and loving. This is almost empty, which is a sign of a good product. Guerlain Youth Watery Oil, Tan Locks the Face again. Also pretty empty. It's an amazing product for a face tan. This is to remind myself to tan. This is to remind me to try these Glam Glow things. These came the other day from Beauty Pie, and oh my goodness, I've put them here because they're next in my pile to try. This is Jap Japanese Fusion um, skincare, and I need to do some research on it, but look at the packaging. Again, I actually started using this last night. Elemis Superfood and Night Cream. I am so excited. I love skincare, so I do mix my skincare up a lot. This is a Guerlain eye cream which I'm using. This is like an amazing spray, which I don't actually know what it's meant to do, but I spray it on my hair and my body. It's just like an amazing balancing mist. This Origins Well Off is almost finished. I use that to remove my eye makeup. <laughs> Then these are the cleansers that I kind of jump between. Santa Flor, I actually went to France and learned all about how this brand is done, so I know that it's amazing. More Santa Flor, I actually ran out of this twice. And this is a full new one, Agua Magnifica. You like throw this over the skin and splash it and it's really good for kind of like impurities. This is pretty much finished with, it's amazing. Um, Aveda Radiant Skin Refiner. Didn't even know that Aveda did skincare. Picked this up and I love it. It's like a skin polish. This, as you guys know, I've always used simple skincare. Again, almost finished. Micellar wash. You can see a builder. Oh my god. Need to not film a builder. I bought a new one of these because I go through a few of these a year. Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Ultra Recovery, which is an amazing, amazing like serum and treatment, and it just does everything. Um, I'm trying to use this more. This is the new Vici Slow Age. This doesn't come out till April, but I learned about it and it's meant to have the best stuff in for anti-aging. So I'm trying to use that. Um, this is like a daily kind of one I want to prime and I'm in a bit of a rush. Pop this on by Glossier. And then you've got my lip products, Karma. This is actually a Darfon oil, um, aromatic oil. You've got my Carmex my Clinique, my Bobbi Brown. This is all stuff that I need to try a bit more, so it's all there to remind me. All my favorite face masks, Glam Glow, Glam Glow, lots of Glam Glow. This brand, Oskia, is amazing. I just ran out of their cleanser. It was so good. Um, you've got a Kiehl's face mask. I can't wait to try all of this stuff. Then you've got my tans. My favorite tans are James Reed tan looks at the moment, so that's why they're there. I use this on holiday, Sol de Janeiro. This is like an amazing cream. I know I have a lot of products. I like beauty products. I'm sorry, don't hate me. Um, lots of perfumes, because I love perfume. This is Bronze Goddess, which isn't a perfume. It's actually a body butter. I use this in summer. It's the best smelling body butter you will ever smell, ever. My contact lenses, all my deodorant. See, this is real stuff that people don't talk about. We've got some soft and gentle. We've got lots of Shaw because Shaw is amazing. I'm excited to try these by soft and gentle. Um, 0% aluminium. More soft and gentle. We've got some Nivea. Loads more Shaw. I swear by Shaw. Although I'm running low on my supplies. But yeah, again, very basic. <laughs> Loads more perfumes. I love Armani C. I'm always stocked up and flower bomb. I've been buying these perfumes for years. Cream at the moment, which is amazing. It Cosmetics Confidence Eye Cream. There's an Estee Lauder one that's down here somewhere as well. I've been using this for like, this is really good. At least two years now, I think. Um, lots of lip products, eye products, Clinique Pep Start, Clinique Lip Thing. And then this is like my everyday makeup. 
And then you've got my walk-in wardrobe, which needs a clean, so I'm not going to show you till it's tidy. I'm not going to show you this because I want to do a full video all about my lipstick collection. I'm going to bring you a full video and talk about this. And then I'm going to do another video all about my actual makeup collection. I just wanted to quickly show you my bathroom. And that's it, guys. So our house is pretty much getting ripped out. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you've already ripped most of it. This is such old school wallpaper, isn't it? Today's skincare, I'm using the Sanaflor face wash, which feels so creamy and amazing. I mix my skincare up like every week, but I just thought I may as well actually show you what I'm using today. I have a horrible spot, which is slowly going. Give it a little wash off, excuse my hair. And then I'm actually trying the new Elemis Superfood Day Cream. Oh my God, I'm a sucker. I keep saying the word sucker, I need to stop saying that, for day cream and Elemis and Superfoods. This is the Guerlain Eye Cream, I got this recently, and it's eye contouring. So let's see if in six years time I have no under eye bags. I am up and I am ready for spin, only because I've been listening to the radio all morning. It just got me in the zone, I'm tired, and also, my skin is not very happy this week, so I am like hiding it with a camera. No, seriously, it's like, you know these weeks when your skin's just like, I hate you, drink some more water. Now my skin, for some weird reason this week, has just decided to blow up. So yeah, um, big bed head, woken up to Narnia. Love it, hello Narnia. It's nearly March, how is it snowing? That's worrying. Um, wearing these leggings, which is super cute. Gymshark crop top, that's my boob, little t-shirt. I'm gonna go spin, she says, with absolutely no arm muscles. <laughs> Just got to the gym, and oh my goodness, the snow is so bad. At least if I get stuck, I'm stuck in my gym. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you were working those hills right this morning, you should be feeling a nice stretch out here. It's always nice and tense on the hill. Oh, I'm back. I'm not back. I'm sat in my car, surrounded by snow. Oh my god, I've got the worst chest pain ever. I think I pushed a little bit too hard with spin. So, because the house situation's a bit of a mess, which I'm going to talk to you about soon. Basically, when I am at home, I'm trying to gym as much as possible because when I am in London, I can't gym or I do workouts and I don't put as much into my workout. Does anyone else do this if it's a new workout that you've not done before? You kind of hold back because you're like, oh my God, what if I need some energy at the end? And then at the end, you're like, oh, I could have put loads more into it. But my David Lloyd spin classes in Leeds, I've been doing them for years. So I know how much I can do, God, I'm knackered. But I wanted to come on and show you how you should feel after a spin class. I think anyone of all um, fitness abilities should do them because do it as hard as you can, it really is your own workout. So yeah, what I was gonna say is I worked out literally fr Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and now Tuesday. And then I just signed myself up for circuits tomorrow. And you shouldn't do this, you need to have rest. But the reason I've done it is because when uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm in London. So I was like, oh my God. The only way for me to fit in like my three or four workouts a week, which is kind of what's recommended apparently, um, is if I kind of bulk do them when I can. So at the moment, I'm not really in a routine. And if I have a day where I can go to the gym, I'm just going to the gym, getting my workout done. And then I don't get that horrible guilt for like the other five days I have to have off. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Right, I'm going to drive home now. Hope this chest pain goes off. I think I just need to rest, breathe, eat. So I got home and this delivery arrived. I bought myself this because I'm a sucker for cookbooks. Um, I love doing healthy recipes and this was reduced to four pounds. I really like making vegan desserts and I've seen a few vegan desserts on Lucy's Instagram. Also, it looks like quick stuff. I wanna start making like some really delicious healthy desserts that are refined sugar free and vegan too. I'm not vegan but I know a lot of you guys are so at least then you guys can eat it as well. First, I love sugar and I need to stop eating so much sugar. 
and yeah this is all with like natural stuff oh she actually uses sugar i will not be using sugar i will get rid of the sugar and switch it for something else <laughs> So I'll let you guys know how I get on. Just making my easy, healthy banana bread because I want healthy snacks and I want to grab chocolate, but this is easiest. So we don't do measurements, we just throw it in. Banana, that's two bananas. I mean, I will put the recipe. Figs, yum. Oh, blueberries are good in it as well. Do you have blueberries? I'm gonna put some blueberries in it. It's even better with blueberries in it. So yeah, this is banana, oats, um, almond milk. We just make this all the time. Chopped figs because it's good for fibre. Blueberries because it just makes it juicier with blueberries. I always put them in my pancakes as well. You can literally throw anything in, whether you want some chia seeds or some cinnamon. Cinnamon's actually really good in it as well. Obviously, if you're vegan, you're not going to want honey, but I do sometimes put honey in for sweetness. But if your bananas are ripe, like really, really ripe, don't do it with unripe bananas because it tastes awful. The difference is ridiculous. Um, you shouldn't need sugar because the bananas are ripe enough and the blueberries. But yeah, go for super ripe bananas. I've had quite a lot of messages about how to know when the mixture is like enough. But when you mix it, you'll see what I mean, and you'll understand the consistency. Ah, they always say it's a good way to use up, you know, like gone off fruit and vegetables, just make um, like a pudding with it. So you guys can see the consistency now. This is how it should look. But if it doesn't look like this, just add some more oats. Add just some more dry ingredients, but it's just such an easy recipe to do and it is super super healthy it in how, how long are we going to cook it for 160 at 160 Ta -da -da. showered and cleansed i've not washed my hair because i have a gym class in the morning and there is no point in me washing blow dry my hair when i have a gym class in the morning so i just showered and i scrubbed my whole body because i'm going to tan tonight using this ah fresh Coco body exfoliant. I talk about this all the time on my blog. It's basically the best body exfoliant ever and it smells like chocolate, but it makes your shower a total, total mess. Um, so I'm just gonna sit down and do some work. I try to have like makeup off days, even though I look horrendous when I am working from home. Ready to take it out. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm wondering, this is our kitchen, absolutely love the whiteness of it so cute moment of truth you're me it looks so much better with blueberries in piping hot you just need to make four of them because this will be gone in about three minutes Good afternoon, good morning, hello. It is Wednesday and I have woken up in Narnia. Wait until you see this, am I in Canada or am I in Yorkshire? So the issue I have, well the good issue is that my hair is really greasy and I uh, know dry, dry shampoo is gonna save it, but the hat is gonna save it. So I'm glad um, I'm woken up with a really sore throat. Couldn't get to spin this morning because the roads are horrendous so i've used loads of new products on my face anyway today because i'm actually just about to go to home sense um, working with home sense on something that needs doing by the end of the month this vlog isn't sponsored by them but i thought i'd vlog my trip to home sense anyway and i have to go today but i don't even know if i can get out of my street so hopefully this is going to be okay but i want that's why i have makeup on i just wanted to show you what i've got on i can barely even speak um, I'm using the new NARS foundation, quite a lot of people on Insta Live ask me about this, absolutely love it. First time I applied it, I hated it because I did it with a brush. This time I've done it with my hands and oh my god, I know where everyone loves it. This is Shave, Shave, Shade Punjab, um, natural radiant longwear foundation, I'll leave a link below. And then wearing a new Guerlain lip and MAC lip glass in Prancing Dancing. And I use the new... Guerlain Terracotta Light 
um, bronzer which is amazing. I feel like we've just completely reverted back to winter. Um, I'm wearing this dress which is currently in the sale. I'm just going to quickly show you. Obviously not going to go out with bare legs in this weather. I am going to put some leggings on. But yeah, I wanted to show you because this dress is in the sale and we all love a sale dress. So I'm going to try and go to Home Sense now but it just started snowing again. Wish us luck. It's my mum's first time in Home Sense. Is it your first time? Second. Oh. Guys, how nice is this chair? Love. We've got mum, look at this sofa. This is gorgeous. I love that. Imagine if that was in pink, I'd buy it now. Look at this as well, this table. Mum is moving furniture. That is so nice. How comfy is that? Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh my god, look at the furry ones. Oh my god, Matt hates those, I love them. I really want this chair in pink. I have opened my mum's eyes up. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. You know what? If we get stranded, at least we're stranded in Home Sense. I'd, I'd be more than happy to get stranded here. Spy pink sofa. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Oh, look how nice the chairs are. We currently have a brown recliner in our lounge and this is going to replace it. <laughs> We've decided we're going to get this for our garden. How lovely. I really want to swing on this. Oh my god, they have a swinging chair. Absolutely love this for summer garden. Look at these bamboo garden chairs. Yeah, we're getting really carried away. These are so exciting. You have to buy your cushions from Home Sense. Look how good these cushions are, guys. How beautiful. I literally love these ones in dots. And I love these ones. And this throw. Oh, I'm in heaven. These are made from bamboo. How cute. It's not velvet, but I did find a really cute pink chair. This is 89. And then these ones are velvet. They're actually really cute. These are all over Instagram at the moment. They're so nice. You know you're an adult when you get excited about baskets. I never knew I could be on an aisle of baskets and really be enjoying myself. If only this chair was pink, but I like this behind her. It's really cute. I love Chesterfield style sofas. Maybe they took my memo about the rose gold because they have everything rose gold ever. These chairs are stunning. Why am I so obsessed with velvet? I'm so basic. Look at this big pink cushion. I just want to just to sit on. Also, they do mini velvet chairs. Why do I not have a baby? How cute is that? How cute is that? Imagine. Oh. On a scale of one to impressed, how impressed do you think Matt would be if I took this home and said this was our new chest of drawers? Wait for this. It's a chest of drawers. So you like lift it up. And then you like pull these. Yeah. I would have the most childish, girliest house if I could. This stuff not exist when I was young. Look at this one. This is adorable. Oh my goodness, I'm in my element. I ended up buying some marble plates. Typical me, marble plates. My cord has got worse, hence me not talking much on the camera. I don't want to be like snuffling in front of you guys. So we're now gonna drive home through the treacherous snow. I feel like I'm back in Canada. But yeah, honestly, Home Sense is my favorite place. My mum completely approves and loves it too. I'm meant to be going to London in the morning, so I will let you know how I get on tomorrow and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, happy Thursday. The snow has officially ruined my plans. I woke up really early this morning expecting to be driving to Sheffield to pick Matt up and then to London because I had an event today with Clinique and then Matt and I actually had organised a really nice stay over at Mercure Hotel in Bloomsbury. We wanted to stay there for ages and we've had to cancel everything, which isn't cool. Um, oh, things falling. Um, I don't want to start this off as negative. I just think you have to put your safety first sometimes and there are road warnings and like traffic warnings and red warnings basically saying do not travel. All the trains have been cancelled as well and you know what? 
there is no point crashing and dying or just getting into a bad situation for the sake of being somewhere sometimes you just have to rest up and accept that that's not the way it's meant to be so i'm going to use today productively instead so far i've done a lot of online shopping today who am i why does this happen i need to block all sites you can hear my mom hoovering by the way really sorry i did wait for ages and she's been doing it for like an hour um <laughs> This jumper is in the sale. I'm gonna link it below because I wore it in New York and I got so many questions about it. Yeah, it's in the sale. And it's, I think it's like nearly 50% off, maybe 40% off. And um, it's called the popcorn jumper, it's so cute. So I thought you guys would appreciate that. I've also placed two separate Sweaty Betty orders this morning. I think all the shops have been like, oh my goodness, everyone's at home having snow days. Well, not everyone, because I loads of people have smashed it and actually managed to get to work. But we live in a village that is 40 minutes from the nearest train station and my tree gets really bad in snow so we would have to literally dig ourselves out today it's much worse than yesterday um, and it's been snowing all day as well um so yeah i think for the people that are stuck at home having snow days all the shops have been like let's do sales all saying it's 20 percent off their new coats i'll leave a link below because guys they're amazing um sweaty betty the 50% off sale is ridiculous, so I'll leave a link below. I'm gonna put a picture up here. These leggings are my favorite leggings and they've come back in stock and they're 50% off. Also, this sports bra, 15 pounds, reduced from 50 pounds, so I ordered two. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Sweaty Betty is the highest quality sports wear. And seeing as I've not gym today, or yesterday because of the snow, hey, at least I can sit and be zen and yoga in my new yoga kit in my house. Right. I'm gonna also quickly show you some of the gorgeous stuff I ordered because ah, it's beautiful. I'm going to the Princess Trust Awards on Tuesday. Um, hopefully I can actually get to London and I'm really excited so I kind of ordered loads of stuff to wear for that so I'm just gonna quickly try it on for you I know you guys like a try on I'm also gonna curl my hair I got some new curlers so we'll give those a try and see what they're like I mean I'm probably not gonna wear the purple and the purple together by the way I got a new camera because the sound went weird on my last one um but yeah so I actually really like this top how cute is this Sorry, you can see my nipples. I ordered this a size too big because I want I didn't want it to be like boobs falling out. I think this is so cute for summer. So vibrant. I'm definitely gonna keep this. But again, I'd probably more wear it with trousers. If you ever see me on Instagram at mshellex, come say hi, talking about clothes. I always go and buy them. So I bought these jeans. Um I look so weird in glasses. Um I bought these jeans because I could not resist them. They were so cheap i got these as an eight there's quite a lot of give in them should have probably got them in a size six i'm going to shrink them in the wash because they are a little bit roomy on the bum i thought these would be really really cute for like summer and spring but yeah they were so cheap bought this polka dot dress and i'm devastated because the zip at the back is completely broken and i literally cannot unzip it to even get it onto my body the princess trust awards i kind of wanted to be like suited and booted but i just don't really like this it's, it's kind of cute but it's not like i'd wear it to the office but it doesn't really have the vibes i was hoping for because it's kind of like business smart look so i thought a suit in like a lilac color would be nice i don't know Maybe when I try it with heels, it will look nicer. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Are these an absolute yes or an absolute no? I mean, not with this jumper, but it's all I could grab. Um, but they're so nice from like a body silhouette point of view. They kind of make me feel like Willy Wonka. Um, but they're kind of cute. I don't know. Do I just look like a bit of a clown? Do I look like a clown? I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm falling over. So I'm showing you a total random mix of things, but this was also ordered for the Princess Trust Awards and with heels. I actually like this. This is way nicer than the suit. Yes! Hope you guys like it. I think it's really cute. So, fingers crossed. On second thoughts, I love this too. This is so cute. I mean, th these are probably a little bit camel toe-y. Um, but they're meant to be like this. I actually prefer them when they just come all the way rather than being cropped. But oh, I love the top of this. My thermals are now, so who's a real winner? So these thermals are the ones that I just bought from Sweaty Betty. I will show you the ones that I bought here. I've wanted them for ages and they were finally in the sale. I just wear them around the house. I wear them everywhere. 
my hair. I just wanted to chat to you guys while I was curling it, seeing as I'm not doing these events. And I've, I've quite enjoyed this vlog being a chatty one. You guys probably haven't. You're probably like, shut up. Um, if you made it this far, congratulations. Leave a comment below and write, I made it that far. I'd be interested to see how many of you actually did. Okay, so I'm using the new Cloud9 curlers um, just because my friend has them and they're meant to be amazing. I'm gonna use some GHD protection spray and GHD curl hold spray. Got a heat protector, I've not seen my hairdresser in so long. He's gonna be very annoyed at me. What I wanted to talk to you about was, I was quite disappointed this morning when I logged on to Twitter um, because the Blogosphere Magazine Awards started today. A lot of you guys might not know what that is. But Blogosphere magazine is like an amazing magazine that is sold in WH Smith, like it's an actual legit magazine. My friend Victoria was on the cover of it um, a while back. In fact, I think she might have been on the cover of the first ever one. Um, and then Lydia Millen is on this month's issue and they do a blogger awards. And the reason I like them is because it's a magazine made by bloggers, for bloggers. Um, and obviously bloggers don't really get supported in the industry sometimes. Oh, that's an ugly curl. I need to, I feel like new curlers take take a nap. It's really nice that they support bloggers um, and that this magazine is like, it does so well, people subscribe to it. I'll leave a link below and they do a really good chat every week. Anyway, it's their Blogosphere magazine awards that they do once a year and the winner gets to be on the front cover. Absolute dream come true. I saw loads of people on my timeline tweeting nasty things about it today and they were saying, oh, it's really beggy that people are asking to be nominated and kind of just slating people for, asking for a nomination and I mean in my opinion fair enough blogging awards might not be your cup of tea but if someone has the balls to be like you know what I've worked really hard and I'm really proud of myself this year could you nominate me like I think that's such a I think that should be commended and I kind of feel like yeah it might not be your cup of tea but don't make the people who are proud of themselves feel bad for it I know that like it's seen as a bad thing to pat yourself on the back and in our society it's kind of like frowned upon and you know you're arrogant and you're this and you're that if you say you've done something good but um, I'm all about like writing down say how which body parts you like what from your body what you're proud of um goals that you've ticked off goals you want to achieve and I don't see why we shouldn't be able to say like oh guys you know I would appreciate a nomination obviously Getting that award would be a freaking dream come true. I tweeted this morning and I was like, you know, if anyone would like to nominate me, that would be a dream. Not because I feel like I'm entitled. It would obviously be a dream come true to be on the cover of the magazine. It's the influencer of the year that gets to be on the cover of the magazine. And I just didn't understand why I was seeing people being nasty about it. I don't know. That's just my kind of opinion on the matter. I'm really not doing this very well. Um, but I just really think it's a really positive thing that bloggers are being celebrated but what I think is more positive is that so many bloggers are coming forward and putting their hands up and saying you know what I've worked really bloody damn hard on this so not that an award I, I really I've still got the tag on how funny you do not need an award to know that you're good at something so I get that point of view from awards there are so many wonderful people there's a quote actually one direction didn't win and look how well they've done <laughs> you know you don't need an award to validate how good you are that kind of thing that goes without saying but if someone wants to put themselves up for an award and say, hey guys, I would bloody love the opportunity to be on the front of a magazine. I'd just love the opportunity to get my blog out there a bit more or to be nominated. That's how I feel. It would be, I'd cry if I was on the front cover of the magazine. I'd literally cry my eyes out. Um, I don't know. It's a difficult one, isn't it? I just wanted to talk about it. My tan went so bad. Literally, this finger is white while the rest of me is orange. It was also a wasted tan because I tanned because I thought I was going to these events today and then I'm not. But you know what, no day is wasted. I'm gonna be productive. It's actually been really nice because it means I've had a lot more time at home with my family. It means I get to see my granddad at the weekend, which I'm really excited for. Although he called today to say that he's gone out for a loaf of bread with my grandma, even though it's like Narnia outside. I'll quickly finish this curling. That was the most rambly hair curling ever. <laughs> letting my curls cool down and then I'll spray them. So I just thought it would be nice to quickly show you what I did buy in Home Sense yesterday. Didn't buy much because I'm saving up for when I do actually kind of get my house stuff sorted. I've got so much stuff up in my loft which is going to be in my new house so maybe I should do an updated homeware haul. Leave a comment and let me know if you'd like that. I didn't get this from Home Sense, but I absolutely love my slip pillowcase. I got this, couldn't resist the colour. This is 7 dollars handcrafted in Portugal. It's the most gorgeous 
pouring thing. I don't know if I want to put custard in it or chocolate or milkshake or fruit juice. I just thought it was really nice. Then I got these and I just absolutely love the print. How gorgeous are these? So I got two bowls. I got two mini plates and then I got two big plates and then because I'm on the theme of marble it reminded me to show you guys this today's world book day and look this matches the bed linen matches those how amazing is that and um, so I got Emma's Christie bed linen I went to Wimbledon with Christie and this is world book day how cute is this they sent me like a little thing saying, dear yeah, Emma, it's the 1st of March, it's World Book Day. We hope you can enjoy a new brand book. Really, really, really lovely. And the book is absolutely stunning inside. And it gives me all of the interior inspiration. I just brushed my hair out and I am actually really impressed with that curler. It's going to drop because it's obviously like a lot bigger now. I also have no glasses on and I cannot see a thing. I think it looks really nice now I've brushed it out. So I'm going to leave this vlog here because I'm going to go and film some main channel videos now. Sorry that this week didn't go to plan and I didn't end up going to London or filming my workouts. And um, Leave a comment below, let me know what you'd like to see from me next. I would love to chat to you guys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at mshellx um, because it would just be really nice to hear from you guys and yeah I just want to say thank you so much for watching and please if you take one thing away from this video just remember that it's okay to be proud of yourself like we all you know life can be crap and we can all go through our own struggles and what might be might feel like a really small thing to someone else might be a really big achievement to another person and vice versa so just be proud of yourself like it's okay to give yourself a pat in the back once a while so yeah thank you for watching guys I really love you guys lots and lots bye